Michael, thanks. Tucson Water is taking every precaution right now with a damaged pipeline on the west side. An issue was detected Sunday. It's not the first time that this line has seen problems. In fact, here are the quick facts on this. In 1999, residents near Star Pass and Greasewood were hit hard by flooding. It started when an eight-foot water main burst. That shot millions of gallons of water 30 feet into the air. Dozens of homes were damaged, some of those severely. News for Tucson's Nathan O'Neill explains now what's being done to prevent a similar situation from happening again. Tucson Water hopes that its preventative actions will be enough to stop a disastrous water pipe break from happening again. We had a catastrophic failure in 1999. A failure that went undetected until it was too late. At that time, uh, there, were, there wasn't a lot of technology in place to be able to monitor and detect the, the types of wire events that we're looking for, breaks in the pipeline. Tucson Water's $5 million detection system went off on Sunday. We have water coming out of a manhole right now in the street. And now they're draining the main line on Star Pass to relieve pressure so they can get to the damaged area, which could take a couple of days. This uh, data that we've examined uh, this weekend leading up to this event here is, is very consistent with a pipe that's going to fail. So we're, we're able to get to it before that occurs. But it's not just any pipe that we're talking about. It's about eight feet across on the inside and is made up of concrete, a steel cylinder, and pre-stressed wire. When you have several wire break events occurring over a 24-hour period, that could be a good indication that your pipe is, is nearing failure, a catastrophic failure, which is what occurred here. Officials tell me that as soon as the crews are able to reach that affected pipeline, that it could take up to a week of repairs. On the west side, I'm Nathan O'Neill, News 4 Tucson.